Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I am so excited to be sharing with you some new limited edition products from our beloved Sonia G. So I have in front of me today her new limited edition Kiyaki brush set and her To The Moon and Back microfiber towel. So I will be giving you details on both sets of products, sharing with you when they are available for you to purchase, and then of course showing you how they work for me, how I'm using the brushes obviously, um, and just sharing you my final thoughts on these products, so stay tuned for that. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments they truly do mean a lot to me so let's get into this video outfit of the day another set of pajamas y'all so these are a pair of uh, pajamas that I recently purchased from Target you know these are the ones that I rave about all the time the brand is stars above um, and they're so cute and comfy so here is a top and bottom set and the bottom of the pants are a little cropped on me and I don't know if that's because of my belly or if they're supposed to be cropped. <laughs> so <laughs> probably it's because of my belly. Um, but I love the animal print of the shirt. The uh, bottom of the shirt is knotted in the front and then it kind of comes over my bottom. Cute, comfy, and soft. Hope y'all are not a little irritated with the pajamas, but that's just how I've been feeling lately. So we know that. We're gonna rock with it, but that's what we're doing for outfit of the Okay, day. so let's get into the details. So I have to thank Sonya G and Beautylish. They were so kind and sent over this beautiful new limited edition set from Sonya G. You guys, I strongly encourage you to go to her blog site and read about the craftsmanship of these brushes. I'm gonna give you a quick summary here, but the way that she wrote her blog post about these brushes and the craftsmanship of them and the microfiber towel i mean you just feel sonia's love her inspiration and it's something that has to be experienced and i really encourage you guys to go and read it for yourselves i'll provide a link for both of the blog posts in the D box so you can check it out on your own. But let's get into some details of these brushes. So, so these brushes are launching today, December the 9th. They retail for $125 and they are currently being sold on Beautylish. They launch at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. She decided to come out with this limited edition brush set because she wanted to create something um, and a brush set that we could easily travel with, but that would also have all of the brushes and the components that we need to create a full face of makeup. Let's start with the details of the brushes. So all of the brushes have this beautiful, beautiful wooden handle. The handles are made of Kiyaki Zelkova Serrata, which is a native wood in Japan. And I'm reading from her blog post, so that's why I keep looking over to the side. It's a slightly harder wood, and it requires a longer drying period than some other types of wood. The drying period is like one to two years compared to some other types of woods. This type of wood is considered a strong and a high grade type of wood. So they've used this type of wood in shrines. They've also used it in the construction of temples, high grade Buddhist altars, and things like that. So this type of wood is definitely going to be one of luxury. And of course, Sonya is gonna always give us the best. You see that on the handle, we have Sonya G's logo. And then on the other side of the handle, we see that the brushes are made in Japan. And then also we have the type, the actual name of the brush. I remember Sonya stating on the Behind the Beauty episode that it took a very long time to create these brushes because she knew she wanted them to be quite particular. Um, she was very specific in the details that she wanted within the brush. And this type of wood that was used is quite particular in how it is structured. So for instance, um, the Kiyaki grain can be linear, striped, or wavy, or it can be a mix. There could also be dense in the natural type of wood. And when they wanted to, of course, put engraving on the wood, they had to polish it a certain way because if they had just left the wood 
and it's kind of raw texture. And initially that's what she wanted to do. She wanted us to feel the wood. They wouldn't have been able to get the logo on there and it'd be a smooth application. So it was a lot of work and time and effort to get the handles to look the way that they are, but still allowing us to appreciate this high quality quality type of wood that is so representative of this particular type of wood that is found in Japan. We see the ferrule is going to be a black matte ferrule that Sonia says pairs really well with the wood because you can see that the wood has black striations within it as well. And then the hairs of the actual brushes are different based on the face brushes and then the three eye brushes. So with this set, I remember Sonia said it is limited edition because of the amount of work it takes to create the brushes and they're not able to create such large quantities of the brushes because of all of the details that goes into creating these brushes especially with the wood so I was like that makes so much sense now why she said you know unfortunately this brush set is going to be limited edition and that they can't make tons of quantities of these brush sets so like I said Sonia wanted to create brushes that are going to be versatile that has basically every type of brush that we'll need to do a full face. So starting with the two face brushes, these brushes are actually not already um, a type of brush that she has in her permanent line. So you are getting a different type of brush for the face brushes. So this is the classic face brush and I did wash all of my brushes so that you can see them in terms of how they look be after you wash them. Before you wash them, especially with this face brush, it is definitely, it had more of an oval shape and it was a little flatter um, on the sides. But now that I've washed it, you can definitely see that it has flared a bit, which is what Sonia wanted the brush to actually do after washing it. Um, she said that she wanted to make sure that the classic face brush would be the perfect type of brush for basically any type of powder. So she said this is great for blush. It's also wide enough to apply bronzer um, and the hairs are sprayed enough to where we can really get a diffuse look of the product versus the brush being a little too dense for those types of product application. This brush can be used for highlighter or for setting your face with powder. So for the classic face brush, it is bundled with dyed and undyed natural bristles, which are going to be Psycho Goat. And the hair length is 33 millimeters. Um, the total length of the entire brush is 128 millimeters. And then the ferrule is 11 millimeters by 14.3 millimeters. On to the mini base brush. So this brush, I got so excited when I saw it because if you've been around for a little bit, you know I have a love relationship with my concealer brush and it is the Morphe E8 brush. And a few of you all have always have asked me like, what brush is that that you're using to blend out your concealer? And I was like, you know, I really wanna find a brush that I love that will replace that particular brush from Morphe. And the reason why I haven't found one yet is because the, the shape of that brush and the density of that brush is just, it's not one that I could find anywhere. I found my replacement. I have found my replacement with this mini base brush. So this mini base brush is going to be composed of white Sokoho goat and synthetic fibers. And those fibers are nylon and BPT. The hair length is gonna be 23 millimeters. The total length of the brush is 123 millimeters and the ferrule is 15 millimeters. This particular brush, we can use it with cream and powder products. She said that this brush will be great for foundation, concealer. She even has used it to buff in powders on her face. She mentions that you can also use this brush for cream blush, cream contour, or to diffuse concealer um, in a larger space. So I'm very like, out of all these brushes, I'm <laughs> the most excited about this one. On to the eye brushes. So these are the three eye brushes and they actually are brushes that she does have in her permanent collection. And they come from the Sky Set. So I'll go through the three eye brushes first and then I'll do my comparisons with the permanent brushes from the Sky Set. So starting out first with the flat definer brush, this one she says is going to, that she created it to work closely and gently along the lash line to add definition, pack on inner corner highlight and do that really great detailed work. 
It's going to be composed of white psychoho goat hair. The hair length is going to be eight millimeters. The total length will be 120 millimeters and the ferrule length will be four millimeters by 7.5 millimeters. Here is the comparison of the flat definer from the Sky Set. And as you can see, they are the same type of brush. The only difference outside of, you know, the length of the brushes is that compared to the flat definer brush from the Kiyaki brush set, it's going to be composed of the undyed Psycoho goat hairs so that you can use this brush with cream and powder products. Next, we have the mini booster brush. This is going to quickly build the application in or around the crease area, diffuse or blend product. The material is once again white Psycoho goat hair. Hair length is 14 millimeters. Brush length is 129 millimeters. And then the ferrule is going to be 5.5 millimeters. So comparing that to the mini booster from the Sky Set, we see them both here. And same differences apply. Major differences are going to be the length of the brushes and then also the uh, goat hair being an undyed versus dyed so that with the brush from the Kiyaki set, we can use it with cream and powder products. And then lastly, we have the Jumbo Blender brush. This is a brush that we can use for a nice one shadow eye look or for a quick blending. Hair length is 15 millimeters. Total length is 125 millimeters, and then ferrule is seven millimeters by 10 millimeters. And so comparing it to the Jumbo Blender from the, from the Sky Set, once again, we see that the brushes are the same and that we just have those couple of slight differences. So I think if you have the Sky Set, and you're interested in this, yes, you're getting the same brush, but number one, I thoroughly enjoy these brushes from the Sky Set, so I don't mind have, having both. And then two, I love that this set is so travel friendly. And so I don't have to worry about, especially if it's like a short trip, and I'm, I know I'm gonna be doing like more minimal makeup. I can literally take these five brushes and know that I have basically what I need to do a full face and not have to pack so many brushes. Moving on to this limited edition double-sided microfiber towel so once again read the blog post it just evokes such emotions and you really appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into it but to give you a quick summary here's an up close look of the microfiber towel it is cotton on this side and then the microfiber material is on this side she calls it to the moon and back because she wanted it to be because it was inspired by a couple of things first of all the logo on the towel she wanted it to represent japan and also evoke feelings of just feeling like this is a very special product from there. On the cotton side, we see an illustration of the moon, clouds, and sakura flowers, which these flowers are very special to the Japanese culture. And this cotton side is going to also be very special to Sonia because it is inspired by the handkerchiefs that her grandfather used to always carry. And so she said he always carried them and every time he saw her, he'd always wipe her face with them. And it became like almost a joke that they shared, even if there wasn't really anything on her face, he still did it. And so she has kept all of his handkerchiefs. And one of them um, on her website actually looks very similar in color to the design that she has here. So this towel is not just, you know, something that she felt we needed, you know, we need a towel to help clean our brushes in between uses, but it also is something very special and dear to her. The microfiber side is on the posterior portion of the towel. And she was like, you know, I wanted to make sure that the microfibers were good enough for helping to really get dirt, debris, dust, and oils off of your brushes, which will help to prolong the brushes because you won't have to wash them so often. So I am really, really excited about this. This towel is actually already for sale. I purchased this the day that it launched last week. Um, so I was really happy that this came in the mail today because I was like, great, I can show them the towel and the brushes all in the same video. So I mentioned earlier that I washed my brushes because I had actually already used the um, mini base brush and 
all three of the eye brushes and I didn't want to show you all dirty brushes in the video. Um, so I went, washed the brushes and like I said, from reading Sonia's blog post, the microfiber towel really does help to dry your brushes quicker. And I was just like, all right, should I wash them right before I film? Cause what if they're still kind of wet? when I'm trying to apply the product. And I was just like, I'm gonna go for it. You guys, these brushes were wet. I mean, obviously, cause I washed them. This microfiber dried them so quickly. Like by the time I was done just rubbing them on the microfiber cloth, they were dry and I said, oh, game changer. Maybe I'm just late to the game and using microfiber towels <laughs> to dry my brushes. Usually I just let them air dry just on a towel, um, but I was so impressed. So Sonia suggests for rounded, rounded tip brushes when you go to dry them or also to clean them in between uses, use a circular motion. And then for brushes that have more of a flatter shape, use a back and forth stroking motion. And that'll help to prolong the hairs and things like that of the brushes. She also says that when you go to clean the microfiber towel, you can either place it in like a wash bag and then throw it in the wash machine at 40 degrees Celsius. Or what she does is she doesn't put it in a bag, but she just puts it in the wash machine and then um, washes it gently. And then she says, you don't, you shouldn't get in the habit of really ironing this, but if you do choose to iron it, especially if you know it's wrinkled and you want it to look more straight, iron it only on the cotton side and place, um, you know, a sheet or something in between your iron and the microfiber towel. You can lightly iron it that way and you should be good to go. Okay, so let's put on some makeup and see how these brushes work in action. So I'm gonna go with foundation and I am gonna use all of these brushes today to do a full face of makeup. All right, so I have applied foundation going in with the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation, um, shade 420G, and I did do a full review of this foundation, so I'll link it for you right here if you'd like to use it. So I'm gonna go in with the mini base brush and we're going to blend this out. And I'm using circular motions to blend in the product. And I think this is working really nicely. Um, and yeah, it is taking a little longer than if I were using a larger brush to blend in the product. But I think by using circular motions, it is blending the product faster um, and blending it well. So I don't think this is taking like an immensely long time to blend the product in, which I am happy about. And these brush hairs are so soft, like so, so soft. Okay, foundation is done. So I'm gonna go in with concealer, going in with the YSL Touche Clot Radiance Concealer in the shade five. So just taking the brush and I'm just wiping it off on the microfiber towel. All right, so going in now with the mini base brush, same brush that I used to apply the foundation. And we're just going to blend out this concealer. And like I told y'all, I was so happy when I got this brush up and I saw this brush because I immediately, like immediately took this out, put on some concealer and I was like, is this the brush? And you guys, it fits so nicely underneath the eye area and works beautifully to blend out concealer under my eye. And just to give you a comparison, this is what, so this is my Morphe E8 brush and this is what the two look like. Um, and so the mini booster is definitely a little more wide than the Morphe brush, but it's not so wide that it's like completely much bigger than the Morphe one. And I love that the densities are similar, like, I love it, I love it. Um, knowing me, I will probably use this brush, the mini base brush, mostly for concealer. And then, like I said, if I do take it with me when I'm traveling, you know, I would use it for foundation then. Okay, wiping off the mini base brush. So Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in the shade medium. I'm just gonna apply that right here. And this is working very nicely. Um, 
I feel like the microfiber towel definitely took off a good amount of the concealer. And so this brush actually feels dry. You know, it doesn't feel damp from the liquid. So I do really feel like I can like just wipe it off on the microfiber towel and then go right in with the powder product. I'm gonna go in with the classic face brush and my Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder in medium. And I, I love dusting this powder under my eye. So I'm just gonna dust this right here. Going in with this one because this one is definitely uh, less dense than the mini base brush. And I don't, you know, wanna, I want more of an airbrushed effect with this powder. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette in the shade Gorgeous Glowing Beauty, I'm going to go in with the bronzer here and the classic face brush. And we're going to, and it, just for reference, it fits really nicely in these pans because these pans are smaller. And I'm gonna use that for bronzer. And I'm really liking how this brush has flared out. So um, when I first got it, like I said, it was more oval shaped and it definitely was more, like the brush hairs were obviously a little more stiff, not as uh, sprayed out because I had just taken them out the package. And so I really like how this brush is moving product along the skin. And I do recommend that when you get these brushes to wash them so that you can use them and you get the best look of your makeup application. Um, even with the mini booster brush, when I applied my concealer the first time prior to washing it, um, the brush hairs didn't move as easily as if, as they do, you know, after washing it. And that's just with any type of brush. And these brush hairs feel so soft. I mean, it literally feels like, almost like silk on my face. It's so, so, so soft. Just wiping off the brush on my microfiber towel. And I'm going in with this blush shade right here. Still using the classic face. And it fits, it still fits nicely within the pan. And this, oh, this is so great. So I actually have to go out of town this weekend and I am gonna take these brushes with me because this is just really impressive. I mean, I knew Sonia was gonna give us the best of the best, but it's still just so impressive how like she really created and chose brushes and you know, length hairs and all of the, like she really made sure the details of what we need for a full face were really incorporated. And also I'm liking how quickly I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> like obviously I'm using, I'm not using a ton of products, but I'm just like, wow, I am really getting a full face done pretty quickly. I'm gonna go in with the classic face brush and highlight and I'm just gonna lightly dust that along the high points of the cheek. All right, so I'm gonna bring y'all in close and then we'll do a quick little eye look using the eye brush. Okay, so eyes are primed with the ABH primer and I'm also going in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Golden Goddess palette. Let's start off with the Jumbo Blender brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade right here and I'm gonna use this to apply this color all over the lid. Um, she said that if you use the jumbo blender on its flat side, it's great for packing on product onto the eyelid. But then if you also flip it to the tip, you can blend in product, um, which is very true. I use the jumbo blender brush from the Sky Set the exact same way. And it does really good a really great job of blending product as well as packing it onto the eye. Then going in with the mini booster, I'm gonna take this shade right here and we're going to apply this on the outer edge of the eye, blending it in toward the middle of the lower lash line and then also Blending it a little bit into the crease. 
And this brush is just great for that detailed work. I like the bristle length and the size because if you have smaller eyes or you don't have like a ton of lid space, it's great for that. Um, and I see a benefit. These are brushes that I like to use for detailed work. I also like the shorter handles. Um, if you have longer fingers, the shorter handles may not be your favorite, but I, I, I really like the shorter handles. I've been off my mini booster set on my microfiber towel by Sonia G. Swipe it off and just going back in to blend out the edges of this eye look. Going in with this shade right here, the smoke shade, and I'm going to use it on the lower lash line just to smoke out the lower lash line. And although this brush is bigger than the brush that I would typically use to smoke out the lower lash line, it definitely works. Once again, if you're traveling or you're on the go, it's small enough to smoke out the lower lash line and also not bring the shadow down too low to where, you know, looks like you didn't mean to put shadow that low. Back with the Jumbo Blender, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna take the color and put it right here toward the inner portion of the eye. And although the, the hairs are a little more dense, this fits beautifully right in this inner corner area of my eye. And then finally going in with the flat definer brush, I'm going to take this shade right here, inner corner, and then also the inner portion of the lower lash line. And this is a beautiful brush for this type of detailed work, perfect for lower lash line, inner corner highlight, um, or even like Sonia said, if you wanted to do detailed um, liner, you could do that as well, especially if you were to, especially if you wanted to like smudge it out on the upper lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off my makeup and come back and give you my final thoughts. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I am back and of course I will list all the details of what I'm wearing down below, but you guys, I am, thoroughly impressed with this five piece brush set. I think, like I said, definitely take some time to read Sonia's blog post so you can really just feel and experience her words and her explanation on these brushes and, and, and all the hard work that went into the craftsmanship and developing these brushes. They are amazing. In summary, the eye brushes, I mean, if you have the sky set, you already know how great these brushes are. I was able to do this eye look right here. It's simple, nothing complicated, but I also felt like I didn't uh, didn't have what I needed to do, a simple go-to eye look. Um, the face brushes are great, and I actually do like that the face brushes are not already included in her um, permanent brushes because I feel like I get some additional brushes brushes from Sonia, but these two brushes, literally, you all saw, did my entire face. I like the way that my makeup looks, you know, like I have a full face with five brushes. And typically, I use more brushes when I'm doing my makeup. Um, so I was kind of like, am I really gonna be able to do my whole face with just these five brushes? But I really was, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't feel like I was missing any other brushes for the look that I'm creating today. Obviously, if I wanted to go more detailed or, you know, do a little bit more, I might have needed to reach for another brush. But I'm very happy to know that what she wanted to convey with the brushes, I personally feel like she was able to achieve with them. She made brushes that were travel friendly, great for on the go, but you are still able to do a full face with the brushes that she has. I also like that she considered and incorporated brush hairs that we're able to use cream and powder products with. And so I, I especially, you know, was able to experience that today with the mini base brush that just using this microfiber towel, I was able to just wipe off this brush and literally go from liquid products to powder products no problem, um, foundation and powders laid on really nicely. And then with the classic face brush, although this brush is not meant to use with 
cream products, it is definitely a really good brush to use for my powder products. So I highly recommend the brush set. I'm so glad that I picked up this microfiber towel. I actually want to get another one. Um, this is what it looks like just from using it today. And I like that. I like that this is not overly large either. Um, so it can fit nicely and quaint on my desktop area. Um, and knowing me, I will probably do like a loose fold and just kind of, you know, keep it off to the side. I like that it's also big enough to where I feel like get a good amount of use out of this before I need to wash it. So I feel like it's big enough to give me a good amount of space, but it's also not overly big to where it's gonna take up a lot of space on my vanity. And then I feel like when it's clean and I'm not using it, you know, if I wanted to store it on this side and kind of lay it out, this is such a beautiful design. And I just, I'm, I'm very impressed. Sonia did it. I'm, I'm so happy for her with this launch. I think what she wanted to achieve with both of these products she was able to achieve. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and that you found this video very helpful. Like I said, the microfiber towel is already available on Beautylicious website. The brushes did launch today and they are launching at 1 p.m. Eastern time or 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and I'll have both of those links down below so that you can use them if you are interested in them. And I think that is it. Let me know your thoughts below on the two products. Let me know if you're interested in getting them. Also, Sonia is coming out with a new brush holder today and that is launching on Beautylicious website. It retails for $190. I definitely am going to pick that up. I can't wait to get that one in the mail. And I think that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.